already just started it. We've been having a little bit of trouble getting everything pieced together. The doggone thing is running right now, isn't it, Gary? We gotta get that throttle cable rigged up so we can drive it. See if we can shut it off. Oh yeah. Even shuts off. Hmm. Okay, what are we about to do, Gary? Start it up again. We're gonna we're not only gonna start it, we're gonna test drive this thing. Reggie! Come here, we're about to test drive this truck we made. We're gonna test drive this truck. You wanna ride in it? Yeah, you climb on board. Another horny toad. Yeah, you, oh, you got a horny toad, nice. All right, climb in that truck. Rio's gonna be cameraman, and I'm gonna go drive this thing around the yard. Is it throttle right. it, the throttle The throttle's, it's jerry-rigged on there, but. We'll right. work to drive around the yard. Look, I figured out the deal. This power wire that I've had hooked up right here the yeah. whole time, thinking that we had to have power to that for the fuel to go, that's not the spot. The spot is right there. Oh, okay. So the fuel pump wasn't so That's working. all it was, yeah. I thought I had that. <laughs> Gary is telling me if the engine's good, you can rev it as much as you want, and it's gonna blow up. And it won't blow up, I mean. I don't know. I told you to move the tire, Gary. What are you doing? Look how the truck moved it. <laughs> Gary, you little sucker. No power steering? See if you can see him smiling right there in the, in the mirror. Bet you he's happy.
go pull it in the shop and swap some hoses. I think there might be hoses crisscrossed. We'll try just switch switching hoses and see if we start to get power steering. Either that or add more fluid. It, it may need more fluid in it. It's gonna be sweet. <laughs> Got your goats all loaded? Oh, you're hauling them out to the middle of the nowhere desert so they can eat grass? Okay. So you got a flat tire on your four wheeler. It looks like you've got a blown tire on your trailer there. Oh, you guys got new tires coming, all right. How many goats you got in there? Finishing this thing up, we're gonna make it work. Time to wire up an alternator, uh, external voltage regulator. Look at all the wires. Ah, wires. What's that? You just put it in there somehow. I did not. You had it locked. It wasn't in there. It was, it wasn't there was it locked? Gary, it was locked. How did I get Rio? in? Gary? Are you hungry? Why? I'll give you a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, you uh, said it wasn't in there. It was laying on the floor. No, it wasn't. I stepped in here about five or six times. Still flashing the second one. <sighs> Tell the YouTube fans to like and subscribe. Yeah, must have a charge. Recording it that it started. So that way I can send it. Oh, that's German. So we've been fooling around with wiring all day long, trying to get the ignition to work right, getting the alternator and the external voltage regulator all rigged up. Anyway, 
It's just about dark. Some cows in the yard that are eating our horse hay, so we're gonna run them out of here. And there's the truck driving around the yard already. How does it sound? get on out of here Good morning everybody they're running me ragged my family i mean yesterday me and sissy went after roping practice over to the beaver dam wash got our camper and truck that we've left there for a couple weeks as soon as i got home i found rio loaded up he was wanting to drive over here to fallon nevada to a trailer open there's the trailer uh fancy arena the kids and Laura have been here for a wrestling tournament. I hadn't, I hadn't been in this arena. The old Churchill County Fairgrounds been there and roped plenty of times a long time ago, but I hadn't been here since this fancy new place was put up. Let's go check it out. Let's watch a little roping. See if Rio's got to find a ride home for this trailer or not. the appropriate way. Remove cover if you would. Join me. Let's go to the Lord and ask his blessing on our day. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come to you on this beautiful morning that you bless us with. And Lord, we thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord, that we have the opportunity to be here and to partake in this sport that we love. We pray, Lord, that you'll be with each and every one of us. Lord, keep us safe. Keep the horses safe. Keep the socks safe. And above all, Lord, be glorified in all that we say and in all that we do today. Lord, we pray for our nation today. In troubled times we are, and this is an election year, Lord, we just pray that the men and women of your choosing will be elected to office, and that they would be given the ability and the inclination to make decisions that would cause us to be a nation that is once again united under God. Most of all, Lord, we thank you for the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, who gave his life for ours. It's in his name that we pray. Amen. If you would please give the proper respect for our national anthem.
And then God has missed you to bless these United States of America. It is go time. In Selma, Nevada. We're going to burn a couple of steers, let you get a look at the star. A couple of things you want to be aware of. We will be flagging on the heels today. And healers, make double sure the back of your steer is in tow before you hammer them. There's going to be no crossfires today. Make sure that that steer is in tow and that you are good to go.
Gary Jepson, Steve Feldman, number five, go ahead and run on it. Team number five, boxes are yours. Seven, down to Abilene Chavez, Rio Hughes, team 47. Uh, number 48, excuse me, number 49. Troy Peak, Blake Van Stavert, go ahead and run on it. Peak and Van Stavert, boxes are yours. Abilene and Rio, nine on the first one, 879 on this one right here. Going to put it all together and be 1807 on a couple. 1807 on two. Now to Blake Van Stavert, Troy Peak, that we're down the puzzle, one hundred fifty-eight. This is going to be James and Rio Hughes. That is Kincaid and Rob Black here on deck. One hundred sixty-four. One sixty-one is going to be Taylor Felton, Flint Felton, Cole English, and Blake Van Stater. You are number one hundred and sixty-six in your fourth half. That is Kincaid and Rob Black. You can ride right on in. This team is working on a twenty-nine oh one, and they're going to come out of a winner. You're eleven point eighty-two. 11 and 82, you're going to be too long, fellas. 40. I put a blank on mine. How did that go? What? Did it go good? Uh, Are you guys all three riding at once? Yeah. All right. This should be good watching. So I've been over at the shop putting an injector in this. It's kind of a long story how we ended up needing an injector, but got it straightened out. Seems to be running good. Took it for a little test drive. I see some rodeo action going on out here. We've been motherless for a few days. Mom's been off camping with the girls. She'll be back here shortly. So we got to have the last little bits of our unapproved fun before she gets back oh yeah you think here we go Rhett see if you can ride the farthest everybody Lorenzo's just finishing up the finishing touches here cleaning the seats we're gonna take it for a little test drive still tampering with a few things but we're ready to do a little more ripping around the yard later we're gonna take it for a little drive test it out see if it's gonna leak oil or not we're gonna need some donuts okay someone didn't hose down my seat and be like that was your dad <laughs> that's it your dad park brakes on it actually works kinda Starts pretty easy. Hey, this thing back seat is pretty nice. <laughs> and I got like leg loop. You can pull it up. Oh, there you go. <laughs> right. Go, go slow all the way with the clutch and go kind of slow. None of the other gears will do that, but reverse wants to grind a little unless you just kind of go easy. And... Put her in, get after it. I'll put it like. You put, try, try reverse. Huh? All the way over.
seen any of them. Nice and low gear though, you can let out the clutch without even pushing on the throttle. Just ease off the clutch. You actually don't even have to hit the throttle till you go to third gear. Gosh. Yeah, it's pretty low geared. No, it lies to you. It moves, but it lies. Is it like constantly lying? It, ma it makes you think you're going fast when you're not. You can really tell? Huh. That thing's pretty accurate? I didn't know you could do that. Yeah. 23, 24, 25, 100. You're at 30, you're at 35. Yeah, so you're going... We're going 45, it's at 35. Okay. So what I did is I drove from one mile post to the other with my stopwatch and it took me 55 seconds to do the math on that. It means I'm going just over 60 miles an hour. A mile a minute. Just Market tachometer in the box. Does your fuel gauge work or no? I think it lies too. <laughs> there's, a lot, there's a lot of lying going on there on the gauges. I think the only thing that's how how fast? How fast do you think they were going? See how you do downshifting. See if you can downshift it. Keep people so they don't drive up the driveway. Smooth, huh? Yeah, no. It's 
generator. That's how it sits because so we moved the transmission. To put it in four wheel drive, it comes way back. vehicle we've got. <laughs> See it's a self-driving self-driving Ford Cummins diesel. and then take it to back to the shop and check that uh, sensor and see if it's leaking oil or not. If it's not, crank up the pressure washer and clean the engine off all where that oil is and where all that diesel fuel leak, get it all spiffied up. It's gotta look good. We can take some YouTube videos when it's looking nice. Back when I used to drive it in high school, it was all covered in oil and diesel. The shop teacher was like, I wish you'd keep that fire-breathing diesel out of my shop. That leaks all over the floor. Hey, this one still leaks a little bit, but nothing more. Gonna get, we're going to get her all tightened up. Lights work? Yeah, see? The lights. Muddy on the first butt it's ever been right here. Don't get it muddy. You're gonna wash it. 